All right, today we have a great video for you about making a custom wine rack. And in this video, it's really more about what we have to do to make these parts um, for the wine rack. And that means making a vacuum fixture that we can use to cut the parts on. So we did the normal layout in Aspire and we laid out our legs and our bottle parts and things like that. But first, we need to make a vacuum fixture to secure the parts. And this is the most important aspect of the project. So on the Smart Shop SUV, we have six zones, vacuum zones. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna block off two, three, and five, and six, and we're gonna direct all of our vacuum pressure to zones one and four, and then use some plugs to block some holes um, either on the top part of the um, vacuum fixture or the bottom. Now, Rob designed a custom vacuum fixture for this project, and what we're concerned with here is just doing a quick fly cut test, and we're gonna cut some quick channels in the front end, um, and that's where our wine bottle parts will be held. And we just wanna make sure there's enough suction power um, to start out. And Rob knows that if the parts hold on this first portion of the test, then we can go ahead and cut our final uh, vacuum fixture. Now at this point, we're just about ready to test our uh, template here. And you can see where one of the parts has some double-sided tape. And that's just to give some extra support uh, to the weaker part of that part. So it will help hold it on to the vacuum fixture and it'll help the part uh, to not move while we're cutting. So in this case, the parts held really well and now we can make the final fixture. Now, during this first cut, the V-bit is going to scribe a perimeter line um, for our parts. And as long as the wood covers this perimeter scribe, we know that every part is going to be cut correctly.
so Rob added a registration hole to the fixture and this hole is used to register the vacuum template on the table so it always matches the cut file. And in this case our cut file is standing off about an inch um, from the uh, pop-up pins and we're using a block to uh, sort of keep that distance and just have a nice easy point of registration. Now we'll do a test cut with some MDF first because real wood is expensive and if we're going to make a mistake we might as well cut it out of MDF. And we're going to use this MDF part to make sure that the diameter of our holes or diameter of the uh, parts um, on the round sections there fit together uh, nicely. Now, when we got done with these parts, uh, we did a test fit with the actual wooden parts that we did first on our test. And you can see here where these parts don't quite fit. They're just a little bit too tight. And so what we decided to do is just adjust the diameter of that little round post. And at this point, you can see the beauty of CNC because we have a working vacuum fixture and we have a cut file that in tandem are always going to work together and we can reuse this uh, vacuum fixture and our cut file to cut parts in the future whenever we want so technically we could set up the machine to cut just these parts for maybe half a day or a day Okay, so we hope you've enjoyed this video and it sort of gave you a little bit of an idea about how to approach your uh, vacuum fixtures. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-234-1976 or look us up on the web at lagunatools.com.